record. Welcome everybody. It is number 10. Today is number 10, um, which I have very mixed feelings about, by the way, uh, because I started this right when we got quarantined, uh, which means that I've been doing this for 10 weeks. Now, I really enjoy doing it and I really love the community that's sort of been inevitably brought up by it, but uh, I've always intended for this to be a temporary thing. I've had people request for me to continue some form of this. So let me know your thoughts, please, um, and what you would be interested in seeing. I've also been thinking about bringing in like a guest instructor, so doing like one other person, um, and I'll split any donations with that person for that week. Uh, which, by the way, thank you so much for your donations. You do not have to donate, don't feel obligated, but I do appreciate um, any additional income. So thank you very much. Um, but I come here for you. So let's do some cardio. Uh, let's go ahead and stand up and do a quick warm up. This is going to be very brief because I usually do cardio as a warm up. <clears throat> but let's just get our head moving around a little bit from side to side. If this feels good, you can take it all moving around in a circle. Uh, this bodysuit, by the way, was made by Evelyn DeVere in Charleston, South Carolina. And then let's roll to the shoulders. Um, she made this for me. This was my birthday gift to myself a couple of years back when I first started performing aerial. Uh, she did a wonderful job. She now owns Oulalume Lingerie. Uh, so you can actually order from her directly online. Really wonderful seamstress. And then let's take a body roll, a shoulder roll, just taking a slight circle, trying to isolate it in the upper half of the body, and then switching directions. Yeah, very nice. And then let's do that with the lower half of the body. So just moving the hips. Nice. And switching directions. And just like last time, I am going to try to keep the actual class portion to about 40 minutes, just in case Zoom does kick me out. But I'll leave the a class open, the Zoom room open for questions and comments and things like that. Good. And then let's just lift out the hands, get some blood moving into your hands. Oh, and also, if anybody um, would like to, I'd love to get a photo at the end of everyone looking so fly. All right, excellent. Okay, getting right into the cardio. So basically, this is how it's going to work. I have an interval timer, which I will mute by the way, because I've had people tell me that it sounds like a dying patient. So I'm sorry about that. Um, I'll mute it. But we are going to be working for 45 seconds. And then we're going to be resting for 15 seconds in between each set. So you'll get a quick break. Um, and I'll remind you what each thing is. But we're going to do five exercises in a row. Uh, the first one is going to be what I call step jacks. So it's like a jumping jack, but I have my knees bent. I'm in a half squat position, and I'm going to be stepping side to side. I'm gonna step out, bring my leg together, step out, bring my leg together. Now you can do arms with this as well. <clears throat> it is up to you, but this one is meant to be a little bit slower paced as it is the first exercise of the set. So stepping jacks or step jacks. Then we're going to do a high knee running in place. I'm running in place. I am trying to get my knees up as high as I can as I do this. Again, feel free to do whatever you want with your arms. Even if that's moving them around, sometimes I like to do circles at the same time because that just makes me look so classy, you know what I mean? Then we're going to do um, side to side toe touches, which I think I also call ice skaters. I'm crossing behind, bending my knee, 
crossing behind, bending my knee. You can do this one a little bit faster. You can also come down all the way to a lunge each time to make it more challenging. Okay, so I'm calling those ice skaters. Then we have the power jacks. So unlike the stepping jacks, the power jacks are gonna be a little bit more powerful. We're gonna add a squat in the middle. So uh, you're going to do your jumping jack, but as you bring the legs out, you're actually going to squat down and then stand back up. Jumping jack with a squat. Whoops, I messed up my timing, there we go. So feet together, arms up, legs apart, arms down, like so. And then the last one for this set is going to be our lunge switches. Uh, for this one, I am just switching which hook is in front and doing a little hop in between. You can also um, stay a little bit more lifted for a faster switch. For more challenge, go lower. Okie doke. That's going to be our first set. Starting with our stepping jacks, stepping side to side. You're gonna do that in five, four, three, two, one, and begin. So stepping, you can do your arm as well, but I'm stepping side to side. I'm trying to stay somewhat squatted, squatted low, okay. I do like to do some kind of arm movements just to get things warmed up in the shoulders as well. Don't forget to breathe. Looking good. Good, and rest. You get 15 seconds of break. And I will remind you that the next thing we're gonna be doing is our running in place with the knees high. Okay, so get ready, set, go. So running in place, getting those knees up. Don't forget to turn around in a circle or Run around in place or whatever makes you happy. You're doing a great job. We're almost done. Remember, stay open through the chest so you can breathe better. Two, one. Rest, good job. Whew. Like I mentioned, I don't do enough cardio, so this is good for me. Okay, our ice skaters were next. Ready, go. So side to side, I'm crossing behind my own leg and I'm bending both knees. Now you can either walk this or jump it if you want a little bit more. Excellent. We're almost done. I see some people doing some uh, cool arm things. And rest. Oh, excellent. Catch your breath. Got 10 seconds of resting left. And then we're going to do our power jack. So that's our jumping jack with a squat. And go. So feet together, arms together, feet apart, squat. Trying to make sure that I don't throw my own phone. <laughs> that would be bad. Whew. So 
Feel your legs already. One, rest. Oh, good job on that one. All right, we've got our lunge switches. That's the last one for the set, so. Get ready, pick your spot, and go. One leg in front, one leg behind. Hands can be on the waist, hands can be in the air. Move them around, I just don't care. Or we can also do these a little faster. Or do your slow switch. Ten more seconds. We got this. Nice. Rest. Ooh. That was the first step. Grab a sip of water. Just don't drink too much water at once. Small sips. Oh, I've definitely made myself sick before, like guzzling water. So. Excellent job. Checking in on everyone. You guys are so beautiful. Okay, moving into set number two. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate, so keep resting. The second set, we are going to be moving to the ground halfway through the set, so be prepared for that. But the first thing that we're going to do is a squat. Now we're not jumping, we're just staying stationary. Option one, just doing your squats. Really squeeze the glutes at the top. Um, I really like the visual of having magnets on either of my sit bones, and that when I stand up, those magnets are trying to go towards each other. So I'm squeezing my glutes and coming down. Okay, version two. You can add a side stretch to the top of that. So as you stand up, lean to the side, try to open, really think about upward and outward extension. Don't just crunch sideways. And obviously alternate each side you come up. Okay, so either of those is fine. Then we're going to be doing a bounce. Now again, I have a couple of options for you. You can just bounce or we can practice our hollow body or our long body here. Now for a hollow or long body, you're gonna squeeze your arms by your ears. They're gonna be straight up. You're going to try to engage your ribs, engage your low abs, squeeze the glutes. You're gonna to try to bounce here. So when I'm in the air, I am trying to point my toes and squeeze my ankles together for just a second, as if I'm trying to find that loftiness that hollow body shape as I'm floating in midair. And before I land, flex your feet again. <laughs> so that's option number two, is hollow body jumps or bounces. Then we're gonna move to the floor for a set of bicycles. We get our abs warmed up. I have options as well. You can do your classic bicycle. Doot, doot. Or you can play with a straight leg variation. I also sometimes like to do this variation where you clap behind your own leg, which is kind of more entertaining for me. Yeah, you can also play with different versions of that. So a bent knee clap is fine too. I've also done the excited hand flick. <laughs> if you want a very extra looking bicycle today. So there's that option as well. So bicycles. Then some mountain climbers. We're gonna flip that over. We're gonna be on our hands. I want you to be very protracted through the shoulders, nice and wide. Shoulder blades are away from each other. Feet out, and we're going for speed 
squeeze into the chest. I'm really thinking about drawing my belly button up to make room for that knee to come in as close as it can. You feel free to play with knee wide, knee across the body variations as well if you want to. And then the last one is our side to side bridges. Now, I've heard this referred to as London Bridge. I'm not sure exactly why, um, but we're on our elbows. This is an elbow plank. Feet are together, abs in, shoulders wide, and you're gonna touch one hip to the floor and then the other hip to the floor. So I'm rocking side to side. I'm trying to stay lifted in between. Boop, boop. Now my leg is not touching down completely. I'm getting really close and it's more of my thigh that's getting close to the floor, but I'm rocking side to side. That is going to be set number two. Hopefully you have rested a plenty because we're about to start and we're gonna start with our squats. So up you go. In five seconds, four seconds, three, two, one, begin. So we're squatting and then you can take a little side stretch at the top if you want to. Yeah. Otherwise, just going up and down is totally fine. Remember that butt squeezing action at the top. It is something I have to actively remember to do because my butt is a little lazy. <laughs> That's actually something I find that aerialists uh, need to use their butts more, myself included. Two, one, rest. Excellent. Next thing is still gonna be standing. We're gonna be doing our hollow body bounces. Remember you can either bounce or try to hit a full hollow body. And begin, arms up, bounce. I am trying to actively point my toes, squeeze my butt, keep your abs engaged. Solid body. If you can hover for just a second. You're getting tired, just bounce, that's fine. You can even go side to side if you need to. Rest, good job. All body bounces. All right, we're moving to the floor for our bicycles. Bicycles are next. Ready, in three, two, one, begin. Whatever version of bicycle you wanna do. Yes, so good. Pedaling so fast. Doing great. You've got about 10 more seconds. Good, and rest. You have to stay on the floor because the next one is our mountain climbers. So we just need to flip over. Ready, sit, and begin. So make sure your shoulders stay over your wrists. Make sure those arms stay nice and straight. I can hear the water I drink sloshing around in my belly. It's like my own little personalized waterfall. It's just there for ambience. It's really a soothing, like a day spa. Good, you're almost done. 10 more seconds. Keep pulling those belly buttons up. One. Rest. 
Nice work, looking good. We're almost done. You can see the end. We're gonna do our bridges next. So forearm plank, hips side to side. Three, two, one, begin. Forearm plank, hip dips, side to side. Make sure you find your plank position in between. So don't let that belly button droop. Keep it lifted, keep it strong. You're almost done. Whoop, my hips fell over. 10 seconds. One, rest. Good job. Finished. Ooh, great job, you guys. <clears throat> Take another quick rest. Oh, my heart rate's up. The, I guess the one bright side that I have found with cardio is if I do it, I am definitely like awake afterwards. So if I am tired and kind of grouchy, I'm probably not going to do cardio, let's be honest. But if I do cardio, then I usually feel pretty good afterwards. So all right. We are going to move into the core section of class now. So it's a little bit slower paced. And we're going to be focusing a little bit more on technique. That was just more to get our blood pumping through the veins and all that kind of good stuff. Get that caffeination circulating a little bit more efficiently. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, so again, I have five sets of exercises and two sort of big sets that we're gonna do, um, but we can take our time with these a little bit more. The first set is going to be a downward dog ankle tap. So I'm going to find my downward dog position, which is, you know, this roughly. And I'm going to alternate arms. I'm gonna pick one arm, I'm gonna reach across, and I'm going to try to tap the opposite side leg. I'm gonna place that arm back, and I'm gonna shift forward to my plank. Shift up, tap, shift forward. Boop, boop, tap. Which means that I like to start in a downward dog, so when I shift to a plank, I have the right spacing. Um, if you don't, then just adjust as needed, no worries. Then we're going to work on some heel taps. This is a new favorite of mine because it is a low ab isolation exercise. It is deceptively simple, but it, I find that it works my low abs really nicely. So in our neutral spine position and or hollow body, depending on how much work you wanna do right now, you can either support your head or rest your head down on the floor. You're going to flex your feet and squeeze your ankles together. And then you're going to tap your toes or your heels, excuse me, near your butt, far away. Near the butt, far away. That's it. The further that you tap, the more engagement you're going to need to do to continue keeping that pelvis tucked. What you don't want to happen is this, where the pelvis untucks as you tap away because you're basically deactivating your low abs. It is now just your hip flexors that's doing all the work. It's not very efficient. So as I tap away, I don't want my belly to push out like it just did, like it just rose. Instead, I want to continue to pull it down towards the floor, sucking that navel down towards the spine, even as you're extending the legs out. That's what makes this exercise so hard. Okay, tap, tap. So paying special attention to what your abdominal muscles are doing and the direction of their effort. Yeah, the direction of effort is very important, um, especially when it comes to aerial. Then we're gonna do some star sit-ups. So laying on our back, arms out, arms out, legs out. If you wanna make this less challenging, be in more of a uh, baby doll position. And you're going to sit up, bring everything together, come to a tight little ball, and then extend back out into a beautiful starfish. Okay, that's that one. Then one of my favorite exercises, tail wags, 
One, because I think it's adorable, but two, because it's very good. You're going to be in a laying down position, legs straight, legs squeezing together, pelvis neutral, abs engaged. And I'm going to wag my tail like an excited dog. Like I'm seeing my owner and I'm so happy, so happy. And you're trying to go quickly. I'm trying to go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And after a while, you will start to feel this in the low abs and maybe even in the side body as well. If you want more challenge, lift the sacrum off the floor slightly, keep it engaged, and then do your tail wags. This makes it like 10 times more difficult. So if you want more challenge, you can try that. And the last one is what I'm calling Russian sit-ups. So <clears throat> I call these Russian twists where I'm in a halfway down position. I'm going to find that position, but my knees are gonna be up. I'm going to extend one leg and lean back and come back up. Extend the other leg and lean back and come back up. You can have your arms wherever you want them really, but I'm counterbalancing my leg. The weight of my leg extending should help me lean back. That's the first five we're gonna do. And we'll rest in between as well. I'll keep shouting cues at you, but go ahead and get a comfortable position. We are going to start with our downward dog arm taps. So our shifting from plank to downward dog, keeping the shoulders nice and engaged. We're gonna start in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and begin. So I'm reaching across, shifting to plank, tapping across, shifting to plank. the whole time. Imagine that there is something very pointy right here. So as you come to your plank, lift that belly button away from that invisible pointy object. Don't let it poke you. So don't come down here. You're going to get a poke in. You're almost done. Three, two, one, rest. Good work. All right, heel taps are next. So we're gonna flip over onto our backs. Go ahead and find that either neutral spine or hollow body and begin. Heel taps near, far, near, far. And I'm watching my own engagement. I'm trying to make sure that I am staying nice and scooped, as scooped as I can be. And it's okay to reset. So if you feel like you've lost it, reset. Keep going. Remember, the further away you tap, the more challenging this will be. Three, two, one, rest. Good job. Excellent work. Next is gonna be our star sit-ups. So we're out in our star shape, and then we're gonna sit up and engage. Ready, set, go. So opening up to your star, lifting up. Now if you're practicing your wheel downs, or you were practicing your wheel downs or star drops, aerialists. This is a great exercise um, because it is helping us stay very engaged in this position. And the hardest point in those rotations is actually when we are about to turn back to belly up. Because what ends up happening is gravity kind of starts to take over and it's really hard to recollect the abs if they're not already in an engaged state. So this is a good one for that. Good, rest. Wonderful. Oh man, I'm just imagining us all going back and just beasting out these wheel downs like perfect form. <laughs> all right, tail wags. Go ahead and begin. So feet up, you're so happy, happy puppy. <clears throat> Wiggling side to side. Keep your legs nice and straight, as straight as you can get them. 
keep squeezing them together. Toes pointed if you can manage that. Otherwise, feet flex is fine. I remember we're going fast, side to side. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Looking good. Looking so excited. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right, the last one of this set was going to be our Russian sit-ups. That's the knees up, you're leaning back, extending one leg. Begin. So try not to lay all the way down. Now I'm going close, but not all the way. Maintaining that scoop, reaching with the arms. Bonus points if you can keep your arms parallel to the floor the whole time. It helps me distract me from the uh, sensations in my abs. Almost done. Two, one, rest. Ooh, good job. Well done, good work. I have a chat. Let me see if I missed anything. Oh yeah, I'm talking through everything. Um, yeah. Thanks. It's a. Uh, it's like my weird superpower. Um, I learned how to how to do that through coaching Ariel because usually you're like demonstrating something, but you have to be talking about it at the same time. Um, which has uh, taught me how to breathe a lot better because um, before I was focusing so hard on breathing, I couldn't talk, but then I had to talk and that taught me how to breathe better, especially when I'm doing hollow body and things like that. I used to be breathing wrong. I used to breathe, not wrong. I shouldn't say that. that's an extreme word. I used to be breathing not efficiently in my hollow body. And that was like a whole process. But if you want me to talk more about how to breathe in hollow body, let me know. Um, I've got tons of tips for you. But the, sh the base, the short of it is, you want to breathe sideways into your rib cage, not front to back, which is a very weird thing to say. But there, there you go. That's how you do it. Um, second set. This is our last abdominal set, and then we can do some stretching and question answering if you have any questions. Um, and that is, we are going to engage our hollow body and we're gonna move our legs. Now you can move your legs side to side, or you can do circles, or you can do circles with your legs together. Up to you, I just want you moving your legs. Now for your hollow body, if you want a lot of challenge, Try to really engage and hold the hollow body without the hands and then moving the legs separately. If you want a little bit of assistance or if you get tired halfway through, take your hands, stick them underneath of your sacrum. Your fingertips are below your tailbone and that's going to help you keep your pelvis curled because it is the job of the low abs to help keep that pelvis tucked. But when we have the entire weight of our legs pulling us down, it becomes very challenging. So if it needs a little bit of help, then use your hands. I'd rather see that than, you know, like a sway back position. Then we're going to do our scissor leg switches, which is similar to what we did before, but I'm going to reach up and I'm going to grab my leg and I'm going to pulse that leg towards my face. You can do this a couple of times and then switch. The other leg should stay extended and again focus on that half hollow body where one half of your body is in extension and the other half is in compression. Okay, then we're going to do our side to side leg taps. What these are is a bent knee engaged position and I am sitting up and reaching to one calf and then reaching to the other side and I'm just moving side to side like so. Side to side leg taps. Tapping wherever you can reach. Um, it just depends on where your feet are. 
And then for the last two things that we're gonna do, we're actually gonna do one side and then we're gonna do the other side. And that's going to be our side planks. For these, I want you to be on your elbow. You can be on your hands, that's fine too, but I prefer elbow. And you can either have your ankles stacked, which will be the hardest, or ankles staggered, so one foot in front of the other, which will be easier, or the last option will be knee to the floor, which will be the easiest still. So choosing whichever version you wanna do, and we're gonna do little hip dips. So it's not a lot, but it's gonna burn. I'm just going up and down, up and down, that's it. And we're gonna do that on one side, and for the second round on the other side. And that's gonna be it for that. I have another comment, let me check. Singer diaphragmatic breathing, Ooh, yeah. Um, that sounds really fancy, so let's go with that. I don't know what the technical term is, but I believe you. Um, it's like the, the singers who can sing like two notes at the same time, have you heard that? It sounds so alien and cool. Anyway, uh, that's like a YouTube wormhole to go down is two-tonal singing. So cool. Anyway, all right, you ready? We're going to start in our hollow body engagement, moving our legs, okay? Get ready in five, four, three, two, one, begin. I'm just going to go out and in, focusing on keeping that pelvis super tucked. Belly drawing in and up. Thinking about breathing into your rib cage while you're here. So when you take a breath, you're breathing sideways. You're expanding into here. So you're not seeing me go, you're seeing me go. Yeah. Very nice. Two, one, rest. Wonderful. Scissor leg switches are next. That's grabbing your leg, pulsing it towards your face. Um, if this is beyond your flexibility, that's totally fine. Bend your knee. Go ahead and begin. I like to do two pulses. But you can really do as many as you want. You can even just do one, one, one. It's totally fine. The more pulses you add, the easier I think it becomes. If your hips are popping or cracking, uh, don't lift this leg so low. Keep it kind of maybe more at a 45 degree instead of like, you know, 180. Good, rest. Excellent, doing great. <clears throat> we got our side to side leg taps next. Flip this one. Doot, doot, doot. Good, and begin. The sound effects do help, by the way. Uh, they give you like 10% more power. So the like doot doot doot, yeah, totally helps. Also grunting, snarling, cussing. More power. <laughs> so just the tops of my shoulder blades are off the floor for this one. And I'm reaching. Almost done. Three, two, one, rest. Beautiful. All right. These are my least favorite, which probably means I need to do them more often, but side planks are next. So decide how you want your legs for this exercise. Go ahead and get ready and begin. Little hip dips. Lower and lift. Whoops, don't fall over. Lower and lift. You can also have your other hand up to the sky or there for balance. Lift and lower. 
I also feel this one like in my lat, <laughs> which makes sense. But if you feel it like in your lat, you're not doing it wrong. You got 10 more seconds. You got this. You can do it. Two, one, rest. Ugh. All right, switch to the other side. And do the other side. Now we're going to be done. Ready, set, begin. Oops. It's funny how such a small movement is so much effort. Boy. You don't think it'd be that way, but it do. Looking good. Definitely feeling the heat. Muscles are working, that's for sure. Brain's not working, but muscles are working. That's half the battle. Three, two, one, rest. Oof. Awesome job. Let's check the time, perfect. Um, if we get bumped off, I apologize, but I love you all still. Um, while we do a little stretchy, stretchy cool down, um, if you have any questions and you want to type them into chat or if you want to unmute yourself, um, that would be great, but we're gonna stretch our sides just a little bit, our core just a little bit. So go ahead and stand up for our side stretch. Legs comfortable distance apart. Feet as parallel as is comfortable. Um, that may not be comfortable for everybody, so whatever you gotta do. Really ground yourself, think about pressing your heels into the floor and noticing how pressing down into the floor will allow you to be tall to the spine. So long extension, make sure that the back of the neck is nice and straight, that you're not dumping the head forward or backwards. Try to be very tall, very upright. I don't care what your ribs and core are doing at the moment. They've worked, they've done good, we're, we're, we're okay. Then you're gonna take one arm up by the ear, really reach that shoulder up as if there is a golden key right above your hand and you're trying to catch it, or a golden star. So really reach, 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 open up to the ribs. And then continue that reaching effort and reach up and over, taking this into a side bend. And you can support yourself on your own leg. Imagine the ribs separating, opening. And that's where you're gonna breathe into. Try to keep your hand by your head as much as comfortable. Good, and when you come up, keep reaching, keep reaching up and out. And then the last thing is to let that body drop, let that side drop. And just noticed any changes that you might have encountered after that. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna do the other side. So arm up, we're reaching for that golden star, up, up and away, Super Mario. And then side bending, opening through the rib cage, resting against your own leg if you need to. Breathing into the new space. Excellent. And then continue reaching as you stand back up. The last thing that should drop is that shoulder. Nice, and hopefully you're feeling a little bit more open through the side body. Then we're going to do some forward folds and arches just to get our spine undulating a little bit. Uh, we're going to play with a swan dive forward. So you're gonna retract the shoulders, push the chest forward, bending as if you're pushing your butt out and showing it behind you, and swan diving forward until you can't stay arched anymore and then rounding through the head, shoulder to the neck, letting the arms be heavy. And you can even nod your head yes and no and see if the weight of your head can give you a little bit of that distraction on your uh, spine. And then to come up, bend your knees, tuck the tailbone, 
round up through the spine and see if you can feel your vertebrae stacking like Legos, one on top of the other until you once again find your nice and tall position and then repeat. Arching through the spine, opening your wings, retracting to the shoulders, diving forward, rounding through the back, taking a moment. You can even grab your legs and pull yourself forward if you need to. And then when you're ready, rounding your back, bending your knees, curling your tailbone, standing up. And then let's all do that one more time together. Arching, forward folding. Maybe this time, see if you can pull yourself into a, a deeper compression. Maybe you can grab your own legs, pull yourself through a little bit. Maybe you can pedal out the feet here. Maybe you wanna reach over and twist to one side or the other. Wrapping your belly button around your thigh here. And then when you're ready, bending the knees, rounding, rolling up, one vertebrae at a time until you're in a standing position. Awesome. Great job, everybody. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit better. If you're watching on YouTube, see you later. I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording. Until next time.